bit chaotic here. There's so many people. Huge lines. Check it with you later. Definitely they are calling you by groups. We're group number 20. And half the people got up to go. And once we check into the cruise, we're going to try to get on the hop on, hop off bus. We thought it would be easier to drop our luggage off here. Hopefully it will be fun. We're headed to Park Huela and it's quite a hike from the we hiked from the basilica right there. Now we're, you can kind of see where the port is down there. Quite a view up here. There's a scenic point on the top of the city. These better be than we had on the hike. This is the other side at Barcelona City, where we're at, kind of behind the park, Guel. We're in our cabin, which is an ocean view room. I will do a quick tour, even though it's a disaster. You have a queen size bed, you have a couch, little cupboard area, desk, there's a mini fridge in there, we have a bank of drawers here, and this is the closet. It's pretty small. You only have about that much space, but you do have some little shelves and drawers. And then the bathroom is here. It will do. We just got on the cruise today. We got here about 11.45 a.m. and it was pretty busy, but we were able to get off and go see some Barcelona sites on our own. We're now selling away, it's like 6.15. We're trying to download the MSC for me app and it is not working and all their activities and programs are on that. So I would recommend downloading that before you get to the cruise ship. <laughs> have to go to standby at the time the, the, the show starts. This is the TV screen that you book your reservation on. I just booked for tomorrow. It's called Moon Dads. It's 7.30 p.m. It's the night before, but they say they usually open in the morning at 8 a.m. to book, so don't forget to do that.
our first day at sea and this is the line to get in. The line goes all the way to the back there. also super hot in the afternoon so if you like shade and not smoking make sure you go to the seaboard side and save a chair early also we did the water slides today and we had a really fun time We want to go to Carthage and to City of Busid and see if we can do that by public transport. We're here at the train station and we got bombarded with a lot of taxi drivers on our way. It was quite crazy. There's a cruise ship behind us. It's just like a couple blocks straight up the road. They said that the train uses both sides of the track, so we're just waiting there for one. We have to take it to Tunis, and then from Tunis, we have to go to Carthage. So we had to walk down this sketchy train track, across the canal, of streets now we're trying to find the next train station it's broken or something <laughs> which is like, let's see, 30, well like 50 cents for that.
were able to get a train from City Busted to here. This is the end of the line. And then there's some damage on the tracks. We have to walk down along this train track for just a portion where there's a bridge across the canal. And then once you get across that, you can catch a train back to the port. And this is where we got back off for the cruise port. And this is where you get on. They were trying to sell us taxi drivers. I would probably take them up on going to the three cities like City Busset, Carthage, and one of the main cities. They said like 40 euro was what it cost. We just got off the ship. We are trying to walk to the bus stop where we get on the bus for Mondello Beach. We're a little crazy trying to go there, but I want to check it out. Hopefully we can find where we need to go. Port, and my husband just realized that he lost his ship card so we're curious what's gonna happen when he tries to get on the ship he does have his passport though back on the ship where they just double checked um, my name in the room like the little phone record and saw that he was in the room with me and he had his passport so Just starting a tour with a guide. It's day five of our cruise. This is our last day in Italy. And I just wanted to touch Mark with his favorite moments of it and what some 
challenging moments. I think that my favorite part was when we were in Sicily and we went to Mondello Beach. After many days of walking, we sat at the beach. It was beautiful. The water was warm. It was what I needed. Um, after that, I really enjoyed going into the city and finding all the old town shops. Very authentic and uh, very cool to see. Uh, yesterday, we did more of a sightseeing tour where we went to um, Pompeii. It was extremely hot. We did recommend that if you do go, bring an umbrella or any kind of a fan if you have one because it's super hot and very humid and you spend a lot of time out in the sun. You know, we are experiencing you know, a little bit of tea after all of the days of hiking. We hike more than 20 to 25,000 steps a day. We are a little bummed because when we walked over to Old Port in Marseille to the ferry to Chateau d'If, the, the waters are too rough and so they're not allowing any passengers to sign up or pay for tickets for that. So we're just walking on the green route that's near the port here. Seeing what we can see.
of this cathedral that we can see from a distance, but we were going down the alleyway behind me, a first street there, and we found a little bakery, and we got a chocolate muffin that had liquid chocolate inside. It was seriously the best thing we've had on it this cruise tasty. yet. There's not really real chocolate on our cruise yet, at least not that you get for free. So, we need chocolate things. Go find this cafe. so much we went back to buy one more and she gave us two. Art graffiti on this wall is so interesting and cool. I think it's like an art district where we're at. Not sure what that is straight ahead. It's Revoir Les Collection something Marseille. It looks like an art museum potentially. We have like little cafes, little alleyways with shops. Super fun. Mm -hmm. 